back to Audrey's cooking show. <laughs> Today we are seeing if things will deep fry. We brought out our deep fryer and I'm so excited about this because I've never used a deep fryer before. And we're gonna be trying some recipes that are some classic fair ones and also some things that I did not ever expect to be good in a deep fryer, but apparently they're swell. So, we have a little bit of a prep beforehand. We have a couple of things I want to test. Will it deep fry? Number one, deep fried ice cream. This sounds so delicious, and it takes a little bit of prep beforehand. So, we need some ice cream. We chose strawberry for this one, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna scoop it out. You're gonna need some muscle. Man, I bet chefs have, are buff. That looks beautiful. So you're gonna want a pretty big scoop. It needs to be like a ball of ice cream. And we're gonna stick it in this pan and let it sit. This looks so genassy. I just washed my hands, trust. Just the process, everyone. So, ew, that was gross. I don't even wanna eat it now. Um, we're gonna let it sit in the freezer for an hour at least because it needs to harden into its ball shape. This looks so gross. He wants some of my famous deep fried ice cream. <laughs> the lane jeans. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. My hands are freezing cold. I'll be back. <laughs> all right, it's all ready to go in the freezer. I hope this is good enough. It's good enough for who's for. That's my motto. Don't tell any of my family members. Nice. Get them with my hands. Contamination. All right, we're gonna pop this in and it looks like our water is boiling for our next Will It Deep Fry. All right, our water is boiling, which means next up, we're gonna be preparing our fried mac and cheese balls. I am so excited about this. The picture looks delicious in my opinion. Mom doesn't think so though. <laughs> we'll see how they turn out. She has to taste test it with me. Ah! Okay, so we're gonna just be making mac and cheese per box instructions. So we're gonna have to let it boil in here. And then I just read on the recipe that it needs to also freeze. Why does everything need to freeze before you deep fry it? Makes no sense in my brain, but whatevs. So, time to pour in the mac and cheese. Why, you watch me struggle as I open up the box. <laughs> this is the worst part about making pasta, is when it's in here and then it starts bubbling and boiling and then you always just be like <gasps> Feel like the big bad wolf. Okay, my mac and cheese is done and I've recruited help. Because apparently I need help. I'm just here to eat a lot. That's all I'm here for. <laughs> you need a lot of help. I was over there trying to get ice in this bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna pour the water out of this mac and cheese thing, and Jake's gonna help me prepare the classic fries. We're gonna deep fry some fries, and Jake's a fry master, apparently. apparently. <laughs> Sorry, I just burnt down the house. <laughs> this might be it. Started Sorry. a grease fire that one time. I'm a pro. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> sometimes I question. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes I question you. Sometimes I question you. I question, I question you. you. I question you. You want to just try chopping a potato with the wrong side of the knife? I did that on purpose. Sure. Okay, well I just scooped in a cup of some shredded cheese, extra cheesy uh, mac and cheese balls. Oh, this is hard to cut. And Bro. now I'm gonna get a baking sheet and form them into- Wait, I should be using a steak knife, that's why. You're a little scary over here, okay? Right, I'm gonna put them on a baking sheet Let's and see. form them into 1.5 inch balls and then we're gonna freeze them for 15 minutes. Our freezer's gonna be so full. So let me go get that. Oh my- This is how you cut potatoes. <laughs> Okay. Can I use this knife? Okay. Okay, so we've been doing a lot of prep work and I'm a little hangry, not gonna lie. It's about lunchtime, so perfect time for, to be filming this video. Oh, oh my goodness. That's a lot more work than I thought to deep fry these things. What are you doing? Right now, I'm just holding a crusty pickle. <laughs> now, right now, I'm preparing our deep fried pickle chips, which I am the most excited about. I think this is gonna be so yummy. So I got some pickle chips, I dried them off. Now we're dipping it in flour and then we're gonna dunk it in an egg mixture and then you dunk it in panko like so. So there's the coating before it goes into the deep fryer and then we gotta stick it back on the sheet and after all that's done, we refrigerate it for 20 minutes. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a lot. It's, this is the waiting game. 
So I'm just gonna repeat this process till my finger also becomes. <laughs> you say like you repeat the process cheese. 50 times. Basically. And you'll eat three. <laughs> oh, I think I'll eat this whole batch to be honest. It's gonna be All so right. Funny. Well, we'll be back when you're done. It's finally time to start deep frying. I have been waiting for this moment. I am so hungry and so excited to see how these turn out. Cross my fingers. They all go smoothly. We're gonna start off with the most reliable, easy thing to deep fry, and that is your classic fries. You can't go wrong with this one, right? Right? Okay. So we've been uh, heating up our deep fryer. Look what it looks like. I feel like a McDonald's worker. <laughs> I feel like I should belong in a fast food place right now. Welcome to the crust crib. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take the basket out of the oil and uh, put our cut up potato slices in there and fill up this whole basket and then we're gonna dunk it in the oil and that's when the magic happens. Who wants to come over for some fries? Oh Ooh, gosh. we should get, we should get fry ASMR. Are you ready? Come close, come close. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Honestly, I would not be surprised if we ate all these fries. We are a fry loving family. So now we wait. It's a waiting game now. All right, checking up on our ice cream balls. Um, they ain't looking too hot, to be honest, but we're still going for it. So I'm gonna take our mixture, I'm gonna put it into this coating which has no wafers, uh, corn flakes, and sugar. We're just gonna cover this bad boy up in that. And then we gotta take it and dunk through it in eggs on your ice cream. You heard me, nasty, weird, but that's how it goes. And then take your eggy ice cream and you put it back in because the eggs is the glue. So then you gotta do that. And then we stick it back in and it's supposed to freeze for another two hours. You think I'm doing that? No. It's gonna freeze until all the other stuff are deep fried, which could be two hours. <laughs> Hopefully not. Back in there and now it's all coated and ready to go. It sounds like our fries are finished, so let's pop them out. Oh, they look so good and crispy. Look at these golden beauties. Okay, so we're gonna shake off the oil a little bit, plop them onto here. Oh my goodness, McDonald's who? I'm coming for your brand. <laughs> Just kidding, sponsor me. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna add some seasoning while it's still warm and hot and that it'll stick to the oil. So I think I'm gonna try some lemon pepper. I think it'll be kind of fun. I feel like it'd be a good fry topping. So add a lot of lemon pepper, and then I'm just gonna go for your basic. Do I need to add more pepper from adding lemon pepper? I'm gonna just add some salt. <laughs> Let's see the taste test. It's probably gonna burn my mouth. And so, who wants to try some fries? You have summoned me. <laughs> <laughs> you have summoned me. All right, let me know if our fries deep fry. Will it deep fry? Potatoes? This should be a yes. I have a long one. Mm, the lemon pepper is so good on it. Thumbs up. We're all on a good note. What do you think? Do you not like the seasoning? That's good. Thumbs up for the fries. Okay, let's add in our next thing. Next up, will it corn dogs? So this is my very first time making homemade corn dogs. What I did is I took a hot dog and I just put it on a skewer and then I made the corn dog mixture. It has flour, cornmeal, eggs, and I don't, I don't know what else. I literally forgot. <laughs> I've just been prepping so many things. So, okay, so I'm gonna take the corn dog and we're just gonna coat it in here. And then it says take two or three at a time and put it in the deep fryer and let it sit for like three to five minutes. I really hope this works because uh, if not, you may need other lunch plans. <laughs> this is what we're planning on eating for lunch. I wonder if this is gonna get puffy in the deep fryer. Cause like when you buy corn dogs from the grocery store, they're kind of puffy. Mine looks a little messy. This is my first time doing this. That looks pretty okay. All right, let's stick it in, see what happens. This is a science experiment. Wow, this is transforming so fast. Whoa, look at it go, it's already puffing up. This is crazy, and then you just take it out when it's golden brown, and it's done. Yummy! The corn dogs are all done, and oh my goodness, they look so delicious. They look like the ones you just buy in the package at the store. Almost. But made with love. By yours truly. So we got some taste testers. Well, maybe just dad. Jake's behind the scenes helping me with stuff. Okay, Jake. Yeah, I get the gooey uh, <laughs> egg. 
stuff. Mac and cheese balls. Mac and cheese balls. balls. Yeah. All right, so Dad prepared some condiments for us to dip our dogs in. Everyone take a corn dog. Which ones did you corn just corn do dog. so they're not like blaring hot? These ones are just done. Okay, so that's the worst is to bite Cheers. into something and you like Cheers. burn your mouth. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Okay, I'm going for the mustard. Wait. I'm doing the double dip. I'm doing the ketchup. Okay. You gotta have a good ratio well, of mustard gonna be and ketchup. Blaring hot. Oh, the stick is always at the end. <laughs> I bet the stick. Who puts the stick out? Oh my god. <laughs> the sticks are long. Mmm. <laughs> tastes like corn dog. It tastes so good. The, the coating's crunchy. It's like the perfect texture. The hot dog is hot enough. It's like fully cooked through. We're gonna be making our own corn dogs from now on. This will deep fry. Next one. <laughs> will it pickle chip? We're gonna test it out. Oh my, look at them. They look so tasty. I get these. Sometimes on special occasions when I go to restaurants and they have like deep fried pickle chips They're always so good. I'm a pickle girl. And so I'm like really hoping this turns out So let's pop it in the deep fryer cross our fingers. All right, let's stick them in Oh, oh it's so bubbly I don't know how long they stay in there for probably just till whoa, it's all foggy you good there Let me fix ya <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, I'll check on it. I'm, I'm just too excited. Oh, it's working. Okay. Let's let them cook. All right. While our pickle chips are deep frying, I'm just taking these Oreos and I'm dunking them into a pancake mixture that I made and just setting them to the side. Okay. So just basically doing that. This is such a messy video. We've cleaned this kitchen so many times, but so far we got two for two. So let's keep it going. Look what's done. Oh my goodness. They cooked so fast. So we're gonna take them out before they burn and pour them. Oh, oh my gosh. It's gonna be so yummy. Who wants to try some fried pickle chips? Burning Any hot. taste testers? Yeah, burning hot. You might lose some taste buds. You want to try some pickles with me? Okay, oh, you might want to blow on it. It just literally came right out of the deep fryer. Uh, <laughs> Maybe wait a minute. Uh, Maybe wait a minute. It's oh, a little burning hot. Okay, the pickles have cooled off, so let's try these deep fried pickles. Spencer would love these. I don't know, Spencer doesn't like pickles. <laughs> Thumbs up though, I love them. I'm gonna be eating the rest of these batches. Maybe make them more. They're really good. I'll probably go less on the coating. It's like more coating to pickle ratio. But I love mm -hmm. a good salty pickle. I think uh, restaurants make it like that. I, I definitely would make more of these and try them again. It's really good. I don't taste Do you think pickle. it needs less batter? Yeah, probably less batter. But I don't know how you get less batter because <laughs> it's so hard to get the proportions just right. But it worked. So I'm giving it a thumbs up. Time to deep fry these Oreos. This is our first sweet thing. So let's see how it turns out. We coated all of them. Now we just gotta dump them in. Ooh, there it goes. All right, keep it going. I should work at a fair, honestly, doing this. I don't know how we're gonna tell this to not burn because the Oreos are black. So uh, actually, well, it's not really the Oreo that's getting he fried, it's the pancake batter on it. It's looking good though. Oh my gosh, this one might need turned already. Whoa, it's puffing up so much. Look at it, it's so cool. Yeah, this one, these might need babied a little bit and you might need to like turn them around. But they puff up. They look like they're almost done to be honest. That was a fast one. Our deep fried Oreos are out of the deep fryer. Look what they look like. Oh my. They're soft. And they're very burning hot. They're so hot. It's a lot of cake. Okay, pick yours. Don't pick these ones. I, I recommend one of these, to be honest. That's this greasy one. That one just came out. It's burning hot. Mm -hmm. It's lava. Do you want to try deep fried Oreo? Yes. <laughs> okay, you pick from over here. Deep fried Oreo. These are the hot ones? These are the hot ones. Those are you, super you gotta hot. choose one of those ones. Okay, dink it. These Cheers. Are still hot. Cheers. I'm scared to take a bite of it and then just hot oil burns my tongue. What? He has like whipped cream put on it. Mm. Here, which, one's, which one's not burning? We do? Oh. This? Oh. Are they all burning? It's good. Don't choose from here, choose from over there. It's so good. 
Try this. The it's pancake smooth. batter or mixed with the Oreo. <laughs> Add a little whipped cream to cool it down. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I ate all the whipped cream. That was so yummy. This is my new favorite Oreo. Is it your favorite? Oh my goodness. Plus the only oh. like Oreo I like. I don't like Oreos really. Yep, that works. It will? You're fine. That's Ooh. good. All right, it's time to deep fry our mac and cheese balls. So let's stick them in and hope that this one comes out just as good as the other ones. This looks good right now. Woo! Like, this has extra cheese in it too, so it's gonna be so yummy. I love cheese. Burning hot oil. Best part about this video is that most of the time it takes to make these are in the prep, not the cook. This is so fast. So the cheese balls are done. Look how yummy. Ooh, we want some cheese balls. Fresh out of the pan, burning hot lava. Mac and cheese. Yeah, I'm gonna let that one cool down for a minute. <laughs> it looks That's so like good. Lava hitting the mouth. <laughs> I'll be like just gooing and oozing out. Oh, I think I should open up a deep fried stand. We got expertise now. All right, will it deep fry? You want to try one with me, Dad? Has it been enough time? Rip our mouth out of our taste buds. Oh. Oh. What is that? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Want to suck? I'll do it. I'll do it, Donka. That'll do. I'm a little over all the oil at this point. My stomach's gonna, my stomach's <laughs> kinda hurting, not gonna lie. But it's a fun way to eat mac and cheese. Oh, it's fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let it cool down a little bit. But it's so good, it's so yummy. What, what, what? For the grand finale, will it deep fry ice cream? This is the one I'm the most nervous about because ice cream and hot oil just seems like very contrasting things in my brain, hot and cold, but we'll see. So let's stick these in there and hope this turns out good. I think this will be so yummy if it works. All right, ready to dunk it? Here we go. Ooh, I love a good sizzle. This is the ASMR. Oh, oh my God. it's coming off. Hey. Oh, it's kind of melting off, not gonna lie. Dad, come here, we gotta hurry and eat it. Yeah. Hurry! Chicken time! Chicken time, hurry! Okay, I'm taking a bite of my deep fried ice cream. Uh, yeah, I think you left a minute or two on. My deep fried melted ice cream. An ice cream ball. Hmm. Where's the Surprising? crunch fork? No, fire on my mouth. I can't eat one. Mm. Ice cream with crunch. Ooh. That works. Mm-hmm. This one was the hardest to do. I think it's good. Oh. You can like whipped cream, chocolate sauce, a cherry, sprinkle, whatever you like on your ice cream. This would be a yummy ice cream sundae. You like it? Ties are harsh, just judge. I think regular strawberry ice cream is better. <laughs> ah, okay, fine, whatever. Yes. But I still think it deep fried it worked. It so thumbs up. This video was shocking. Everything worked as it was supposed to, so I can say that was a win. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a will it deep fry part two and what I should try deep frying next. Comment down below and I'll pull from your suggestions. Hamburguesa? Oh, that is. A McDonald's hamburger was the thing you could. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you are new. Thumbs up the video and we'll see y'all next time. Bye!